What's up, guys? Uh, so I got this uh, sealed, uh, if you want to call it that, copy of Loom CD-ROM version. And what this is, is the OEM version, which is a pack-in with software tool works. But it is the full version of Loom CD-ROM. It is not nearly as expensive, nor is it as good-looking as the big box version of it. But this was an excellent game created by Brian Moriarty. It uh, featured music, original music, but it also featured music by Peter Illich Tchaikovsky. I'm pronouncing that wrong. Piotr, Peter. But it was very unique. It used the Scum engine, which is the script creation utility for Maniac Mansion. Um, it was the fourth game to use it, but it didn't use verbs. It used a different system of clicking around and, and getting around the game. Um, and it's a game that I actually really haven't played, but I know that it uses music uh, as a, you know, kind of a, a theme of the game. So I wanted to make sure that I had a copy of this. And the CD-ROM version, I just could not find anywhere for any kind of reasonable price. So shout out to Stu in, uh, of the Big, Big Box uh, PC Game Collectors podcast. He hooked me up with an eBay auction for relatively cheap. And since this one is sealed, I decided, why not? Why don't I just do an unboxing video? And it's it's a little bit marginally sealed, because you can see here this plastic is already damaged. And I don't have any desire to put this back with the Software Toolworks pack-in that it came with. But I eventually hope to also get the big box version of it. But for now, I got this one. And I'm just going to open it. We'll see. We can kind of see already that it says Book of Patterns. And there's some kind of important license agreement, so let's open it and see what it is. Okay. This is kind of cool. I do wish we could keep that, but hey, it is what it is. All right, Book of Patterns, which I believe is probably uh, better known as a copy protection engine of some kind. Oh, and it looks like this is something where you fill in music. I see a bunch of treble clefs and some notes. And I did see here at the beginning, CFGC. Yeah, and whoever filled these notes in is, you know, pretty off. That's almost a C. That should be an E. That should be an F. And that is a C. I saw that in the beginning as well, E, C, E, D. And those notes are correctly transcribed. So I think that's part of the printing of the book. I don't think an actual person filled that in. I hope not, otherwise it wouldn't have been sealed. This is a very interesting white card. Another very interesting white card. Ah, there we go, something that actually resembles Loom, and you can see a fantasy adventure by Brian Moriarty, LucasArts, LucasFilm Games. There we go, also from LucasFilm Games, and you can just see a list of exceptional titles. Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis, exceptional. Monkey Island, exceptional. Secret of Monkey Island, all these are, for the most part, exceptional games. I haven't played all of them. But I certainly have played all the point and click or Sierra Scum, excuse me, not Sierra, Lucasfilm Scum uh, games, and they're all exceptional. So let's see here. Does this open up at all? Nope. It just has, there it is, Loom CD ROM. Very nice game disc, and all you're getting is a horrible reflection of my camera there, but there we go. That's beautiful. Then we have. The quick start card, which is cool, and I'll hopefully install this shortly on my DOS machine. There's the registration card to get the newsletter. And I always enjoy these because it shows a lot of these other games. Well, this simply shows similar to what we saw before, except it adds X-Wing. You know, cool, cool little specs. Uh, I would be shocked if any of you who are non-retro PC gamers have any of these specs at all on your computers. There we go. Ah, and then there's another little book here, a loom book, which says something. Let's see what it says. 
it is. Looks like the credits and the instructions. Very cool. There you go. You can also call the hint line 1-900-740-JEDI. I wonder, that may actually still be in existence, but I'm not going to spend the money to find out. Ah, and then that thing again. So that's it. Definitely a legit sealed copy. This one was not a question as to whether it was legit. It just wasn't very sealed, so I didn't see the sense in keeping it that way. All right, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll, until the next one.